When you ask some persons about laboratory tests, their minds will likely wind back to when their blood samples were taken for some laboratory procedures. Yes, blood is the most commonly used sample for conducting tests in the laboratory. But in this video, we will look at over 30 different types of samples that can be used in the laboratory for identifying various causes of diseases and disorders or to rule out one. Laboratory procedures are commonly conducted with extracts taken from the patient in a laboratory setting. These extracts can be called samples or specimens. Without these human samples, laboratory tests will not be done. The reason behind examining human extracts for identifying causes of diseases and disorders is that these extracts, when examined immediately or under well-preserved conditions, are able to represent to a very high extent the conditions in the living body. They are used primarily to measure the levels of components of the body, to observe systemic changes, or to identify foreign microorganisms. Hence, when laboratory tests are appropriately conducted by a well-trained and qualified medical laboratory scientist, they provide very relevant data that help clinicians and caregivers in making various health care decisions. There are over 30 different types of samples taken from the human body that can be used for laboratory investigations. These samples can be obtained from the patient by medical laboratory scientists or by physicians and nurses. The personnel to obtain the sample depends on the risk involved. The most risky and invasive sampling procedures are done by well-trained physicians. For ease of understanding, we will group them into four types of samples or specimens. They are 1. Fluids and secretions 2. Tissue and cell biopsies 3. Mucous secretions and skin swabs and 4. Breath samples
I hope you learned a lot in this video. If you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with our educational videos. Like, share, or leave a comment or question.